I need to like file a restraining order against myself on Zara's behalf. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to the first day of my spring haul week 2020. I just want to say a really quick few words, I don't want to repeat myself every single day this week so I'm just going to say this now. I know it's a bit of a weird time to be doing haul videos, I really was quite undecided whether to go ahead with haul week. This year or not I was really going back and forth in my mind and I was asking you guys for your opinion and it was so obvious that the vast vast majority of you really desperately wanted me to do it. I'm so aware that there are so many people that are out of work right now, me and my family and my boyfriend and most of my friends actually are all self-employed so I really do understand and sympathise but it was clear that a lot of people really did want a distraction and some people do still want to online shop but even if you don't hopefully you can just use this as a bit of escapism, watch me try on some nice clothes and just take your mind off stuff. I really don't know about the rest of the world but in the UK our government is allowing deliveries to still happen which means they think it's safe but I have been taking extra precautions just in case all the parcels that I've received for haul week I've been keeping in my garden shed for 24 hours, sometimes longer, and then completely disinfecting them before I bring them up to my room. So as always, just be sensible and safe, and if you're not really in the mood for hauls this week, then I will be back to normal routine next week. So I'm kicking off the week with Zara, as I always do. I've missed you. And I actually ordered a lot of items and I'm not convinced at all that they are all in here because this box isn't that big. And I would just like to have a little moment of appreciation for Zara packaging, cardboard box, tissue paper, and absolutely nothing wrapped in plastic. I don't understand how they're the only ones doing it. And it's just so much nicer. Like I always get so excited opening a Zara box because it feels like a more luxurious experience. So let's get going, I'm going to try everything on for you today and don't forget that I link everything I show down below in the description box. Please don't forget to subscribe and let's go. So guys, here is outfit number one. Why does Zara do this to me? Every single time. I haven't shopped in Zara since last haul week, I think, because I actually had to restrain myself. I need to like file a restraining order against myself on Zara's behalf. This outfit is so cute. So first of all, let's talk about the top. This is the most beautiful, like creamy, silky satin blouse. And it has this gorgeous lily print on it. You can see the lily a bit more there at the back. I feel like lilies are not a very usual kind of design for a floral pattern in clothing, but I really love lilies. And I think that makes such a beautiful design. The color is gorgeous. It looks so expensive and luxurious. I mean, it's just stunning. Sleeveless, halter neck. There's a really nice like bow tie at the back of the halter neck too. So if you wanted to have like your hair up, it would look super elegant. I can't believe it's the very first thing that I've shown in haul week and I'm like, I need to keep it. So the skirt, I do really love. I'm not as in love with it because I don't really like the fabric. Um, it's not really what I was expecting. I was expecting just cotton. This would be so much nicer if it was cotton, but it's kind of like crinkly, like rain mac material. It's really, really weird, but I just love the style and the shape. It's like a puff ball shape. And I have another skirt like this from ASOS I bought last year that I wear all the time and you guys are always asking me where it's from and sadly it's out of stock and you can't really get this style like it's not very common so when I saw this on Zara I was like oh my god that's so exciting I really like the color as well it's a bit unusual but it's just nice and neutral and it will go with a lot and I was also surprised when I put it on because it's actually elasticated at the bottom I thought that it was just a skater skirt like my other one but it's actually elasticated around the bottom which feels a bit weird um, but I guess it just helps it hold its shape a bit better and I just think it's so so cute I just I'm not sure about the fabric but together I do think they look really nice the colors go lovely together I love the puffball skirt and the really elegant halter neck like silky blouse I just think it looks so pretty and feminine and classy and cute it's just like such an adorable outfit and why does this happen to me every single time so the next outfit is uh <laughs> interesting I'm just as confused as you are I uh, okay, so I liked the idea of this. It was like a satin, an ivory satin jogger set. And I thought, you know, all this time at home, this is like really luxe, it's really fancy. Um, but I just really don't like the top. It's so big and baggy and I just think it looks a bit weird. The joggers are actually quite cute. I could actually probably do with having them in a bit of a bigger size, um, but this is just too baggy and loose. Um, and I do like a balloon sleeve, but that's taking it a bit far. It just looks very 
strange but I do really love the fabric it's so pretty like the color it's like champagne like pale champagne shiny satin it's really really pretty I and mean, I actually probably would consider these joggers just maybe in a bigger size but I would definitely not get the top it's a shame because I really liked the idea as a set and I think if it was like a bit more cropped maybe so that it didn't like come down like that like if it sat up here and it just wasn't as baggy, then it could look really, really cute and really like film star luxe. But at the moment, I just feel like I look like Elton John or like the angel from Greece or like a modern day Jesus. It does feel very like angelic and divine, which I quite like, but yeah, I think it's an overall no. <laughs> Okay, so next I have this cute little outfit, which I kind of envisioned as like a lounging around the house outfit, although both pieces you could individually wear outside as a proper outfit, just maybe not together because these shorts are so short. But anyway, we'll talk about the Cardi first. This is so adorable, like, oh my God. It's just so pretty. It's cream and sparkly rose gold. The metallic thread kind of makes it look a bit tweedy. It looks like a tweed cardigan, although it isn't actually tweed or like boucle or anything like that. It is just like a knitted cardigan, but it has this amazing like sparkly rose gold. That is just so pretty. And then you've got these adorable like diamante flower buttons and the cute little pocket detail with the button as well. And I just love the fit. It's so like slouchy and throw on, but it just looks so glam. So the shorts I actually really like too. I was hoping they would be a bit longer they are supposed to be um worn on the waist you can feel by the like crotch of the shorts um so they definitely are supposed to be up here but they are just like a little bit short and i don't know if like i would be comfortable like wearing these out and about in london maybe for holiday and definitely for around the house but they're just so pretty like the fabric is so soft and the style is slightly similar to the skirt from before it's kind of puffy and flippy like all these really really loose pleats i would actually consider like taking these to a tailor and saying please can you make these for me because they're so so pretty but they're just too short but i'm in love with the cardigan darling and i just think this is such a cute little like stay at home outfit oh my god guys this is the next top and i am just done finished i'm clearing out all of my clothes because this is just, I just know this isn't gonna go well for me this week. This top is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. I literally need it in my life. It's so, so pretty. It looks exactly like a Zimmerman top. They have a floral pattern that's very similar to this in terms of the colors and everything. And just look at the shape and the sleeves. Oh my God, it's actually to die for. Kim, there are people that are dying. This top is actually a must have for spring, summer because you could wear it with literally anything. This would look adorable with like shorts like this, hopefully some longer ones. I actually have some white Zimmerman shorts that it would look so nice with. So here are my shorts um, and that top is gonna go so nicely with them. You could wear it with a little white skater skirt, a white denim skirt, white like denim shorts, white denim jeans. And it just looks so nice together with the shorts. Like they pair so well together. Um, let me know what you guys think. So my next outfit is this cool dress, which I do quite like. I'm not sure I love it. I really actually love the bottom half. Like, oh my God, if I could cut this dress in half and keep this as a skirt, I totally would. Cause look at those lovely big pleats and the way that it kind of sticks out. But it's kind of losing me um, with the top half. I just, I'm not really a big fan of like white shirt material because I just think it's kind of masculine. It reminds me of school and like offices and banks. So that puts me off like ever so slightly, but I think it's a really, really chic design. I think it looks expensive. I honestly think this looks like a designer dress. It's just such a beautiful fit. It's so structured and look how flattering it is. It's actually really, really gorgeous. I'm not sure like the style is me. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it on with my Chloe Drew bag. Um, and altogether, actually that already makes a difference. It kind of makes it look less like corporate because um, you have more of like a whimsy, boho bag with it um so i actually do really like that now i've put a bag with it that's crazy how much you can transform it oh i'm already liking it so much more already um i think it's just perhaps like a bit different to what i normally wear but it is really cute and it definitely looks like an expensive designer dress especially with the bag <laughs> So next I have this adorable little outfit. So the top is from Zara and I just put it with those Zimmerman shorts that I showed you earlier because I thought the two would go so, so cute together and I think I need to take my mind off those short flippy shorts because 
I'm just falling in love with them. But oh my gosh, this top is so adorable. It's actually the cutest little thing. The color is so divine. Like it's like bright baby pink. It's just so spring summer. It's really something that I don't really wear like during winter time, even though it's like my favorite color. It really is like more of a spring summer color and it's just so exciting. It's such a nice fabric. It's like that poplin cotton. So it's really like sumptuous and stiff. It's not like flimsy or anything like that. Like it doesn't feel cheap. It feels really nice quality and it has like a really lovely structure. And just look at the bow. Look at that giant pink bow. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? And I love the like wrap over style, the way it's really nice and tight in around the waist. And believe it or not, I do feel like I need a little bit more pink in my life. Cause seriously, like a lot of my autumn winter, like fashion videos and hauls, there wasn't a lot of pink cause pink isn't a big autumn winter color. So this is like restoring my faith in my life. I just feel so myself in this. Like this is how I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so the next thing is this blouse. I just kept the shorts on cause again, I thought that it would go so perfectly. Side note, these shorts were such a great purchase. They were really expensive because they're Zimmerman, but they literally go with everything. It's amazing. And this blouse, like honestly, I'm thinking this is also a must have. This is so annoying. This happens every time I do a Zara haul. I end up wanting everything, even the things that I wasn't sure about, I end up loving. And this blouse is just so beautiful. It looks so like, old fashioned. It's got this really cute little like flower embroidery around here and these cute little elasticated cuffs with broidery um, and like a kind of puffy sleeve. To be perfectly honest with you, I think I will actually keep this blouse because I think it's like perfection and it's so, so classic. And um, this is the kind of thing that will just never, ever go out of style. Every single spring, summer you can wear this. And this whole outfit together looks so adorable. I bet with the Chloe bag, I'm actually gonna pass out. Okay, I'm done. Haul week is finished whole week is through. I don't need to do any more because I've got everything I need. Seriously, this is the cutest outfit in the world. This blouse is an actual dream come true. And the cotton is so nice. It's so soft. Why does Zara always do this to me? They just make the most perfect clothes. And look like how nicely the blouse goes with the shorts. It looks like this blouse should be Zimmerman's. And then I'll just quickly show you this. I ordered this necklace because I thought that it would go really nicely with the blouse. Um, and it kind of would, but I'm just sort of having second thoughts about it. I just thought it looked so pretty with those like pearlescent champagne coloured shells and all the diamante detail and the gold. It just looked so stunning. I think it's maybe just a bit too chunky, like it should be a bit daintier or it shouldn't be completely shells. It should be like a gold chain and then a few shells. I just feel like this is what Ursula would wear if like she ended up actually fooling Prince Eric and marrying him and becoming a princess and she would have like instructed that that ugly shell with Ariel's voice in was like taken off to the jeweler and made into like this fabulous necklace. Things are working out according to my ultimate design. <laughs> Soon I'll have that little mermaid in the ocean will be mine. So now for the final piece and I just don't know what to say. Zara, take everything. Take my money, my soul. You've already taken my dreams because you made it into this dress. You have stolen my dreams. I'm actually at a loss for words. I think this is so beautiful. I feel like a princess in this dress and I try on so many nice dresses, but there's just something about this that is just like making me fall in love with it. It's so, so beautiful. The color is so incredible. It's like the most subdued gold with shimmer in. The fit of this dress and the whole design is just absolute perfection. The little sleeves, the way it gives you that beautiful like cinching in at the waist and then just flows out. It's so pretty. I actually want to cry. It kind of reminds me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast a tiny bit. Um, yeah, I just really love it and it's making me really upset that like I don't have anywhere to wear it. <laughs> and I haven't even shown you the bag. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like this on the high street. Oh my god, it looks like a designer bag from like I don't know, 70 years ago or something. It's so old fashioned and like vintage glam. <gasps> the blue satin and the pearl handle and the gold chain. It's just an actual piece of art. The blue and the gold just complement each other so well. And I just wish I had somewhere to wear this stunning, stunning dress and this bag. I might have to just keep it and wear it and just lie around my house like Miss Havisham. So guys, that is the end of today's haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to let me know which your favorite bits were in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.